We had the opportunity to have Grandma Helen come into our classroom and help students with their reading skills and just be a part of our classroom. I think it's a wonderful program and I would like to see more people in it because I think that children really appreciate it and I think they need the help too. Dress up day for these mountain school second graders is a reward for good behavior. It is something seen most of the time in Julie Clay's classroom where Grandma Helen spends many of her days. And uh, the younger children just really seem to bond with her and she's kind and loving and really um, opens up just a new learning for the kids and they respond very well to her. They've really bonded to Grandma Helen. And then the children get an extra special person to be there for them, to be an older person, a stable person in their life. A lot of children now don't really have older people um, in their lives or grandparents and such because people move so much. Grandma Helen says volunteering gives her a reason to get up in the morning and at 88 years old the children keep her young. You learn all the new idioms you know like cool, that's cool you know <laughs> that kind of thing it's fun. This foster grandparent program is one of several opportunities for senior citizens to volunteer through NAU's Civic Service Institute. The amount of hours that these people put in and the amount of work that they do, it couldn't be possible um, because a lot of these programs wouldn't be able to pay to have that kind of service. So the community wins, the volunteers win, I mean really truly everybody wins in this program. In Julie Clay's classroom where students go by the name of Perky Puppies. <laughs> they get a close-up look at volunteerism and get the benefit of Grandma Helen's patient and loving presence during the school day.